my dear guest speakers. If there is one takeaway when you see your, your friend, family member, your partner, what will be the first thing you will say? What is your key takeaway of the event of Gudrun today? What would it be, Tom? Uh, for me, that you, you only are using 30% of your cacao fruit. Yes, when making chocolate. And so you're losing 70%. And for me, that's insane. That's, okay. That's, I, I like those like, little insights because that makes it very, very, very... Um, tangible. Tangible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you can think about, okay, what can be possibilities, upcycling initiatives or waste initiatives? Uh, uh, side stream initiatives. Side stream yeah. initiatives. <laughs> <laughs> side stream <laughs> initiatives. No, th very small. <laughs> if you, if you, I, th I know waste because that's psychology, um, but if you are talking about side stream initiatives, you need to start explaining what this all means. Mm -hmm. um, and after three seconds, they're out. Mm -hmm. um, so you need to find a balance between, from the one hand, making very tangible 70% just waste, what can we do with this? Yeah. Or talking about side streams and then try to explain what a side stream is. Uh, if you compare the brain of a person with the brain of a fish. A fish has a way more focus than a person who is constantly addicted to their phones. You need some chocolates, I believe. I need right? chocolate. Yeah, okay. I need coffee and chocolate. Okay, and coffee as well. You will get a coffee later on. Yeah. Peter, your key takeaway. Yeah, for me, it's actually uh, very simple because I'm an, uh, I'm, I, I'm an opportunist. I see always opportunities and I'm in sales. So I hear 70% waste uh, side stream of a, of a uh, cacao fr uh, fruit, uh, can I use it to make paper? I have no idea. The cellar is in. Yeah. So you have yeah. a lot of chit chats later today, yeah. not only so with the bank here, but also yeah. with Ruva. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Ruva, your key takeaway? Yeah. Um, I think for me, it's just uh, the idea that you put in my mind, Peter, that we spend 40 years on average growing a tree only to use it in the bathroom for one minute. You know, I think that puts <laughs> things into perspective a little bit. I think like she talks toilet paper right now. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but just I think to be sure we're aligned. <laughs> yeah. Gets you thinking, I feel. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Yes, we know that there is no waste, there is only a side stream in life, but what is your key takeaway? My uh, key takeaway, or what I've learned today, is that there's a lot of willingness, uh, mm -hmm. there's awareness. Um, putting this into practice, uh, we cannot promise um, the zero waste future tomorrow, but we can work on it step mm -hmm. by step. Each step counts, and the potential we see um, is uh, all good things, I think. All, all we've heard not right now is people with, with good spirits, with a, a strong belief in that we can still do better uh, from a sustain sustainability point of view as well from the profit point of view. So, Exactly. But I'm also very grateful to have you on stage because I think you're very inspiring, all the four of you. So I already would like to thank you.